In this month's news, instant coffee might be brewing more than just a caffeine buzz. It could be linked to higher risk of dry AMD. High ad multifocals aren't just slowing myopia progression, they're bulking up choroids like it's leg day. And iClip is here, the AI model that reads, sees, and just might outdiagnose you. All that and more on SideBite News, where eye care meets headlines with 2020 flair. If your patients love a quick cup of joe, they might want to sit down for this one, preferably not with instant coffee in hand. New research out of food science and nutrition has linked instant coffee consumption to a significantly higher risk of dry AMD. We're talking seven times the risk. The research study used Mendelian randomization and data from over 180,000 people and while regular brewed coffee didn't raise red flags, instant blends were a different story. More studies are brewing, but for now, this one's food or drink for thought. Meanwhile, in the world of myopia control, there's news that thickens the plot, literally. Researchers at the University of Houston found that high ad multifocal lenses don't just slow myopia in kids, they bulk up the choroid. That's right. The vascular layer behind the retina thickened just two weeks into wear and stay that way for three years. Thicker choroid means less axial elongation and less myopia creep. And single vision lenses? Nada. Zero choroidal gains. So next time you prescribe, remember, high ad multifocal contact lenses might be the new MVP. Now let's talk AI. What happens when you take 2.7 million eye images, 11 imaging modalities, and a splash of clinical text? You get iClip, the latest multimodal visual language model shaking up computational ophthalmology. This AI marvel doesn't just see, it reads too. From color fundus to fluorescent angiography, iClip learns across image types and clinical notes to diagnose eye and even systemic diseases. So if you're dreaming of an AI that can multitask like a senior consultant on Espresso, iClip might just be your new favorite colleague. Now for a closer look at the OR and who's getting more time in it. A decade-long study of over 4,800 U.S. ophthalmology residents just dropped. And guess what? Female residents logged 7.4% fewer total surgeries and 4.4% fewer cataract surgeries than their male counterparts. And residents who are underrepresented in medicine? They lagged behind in total case volume, too. It's not about meeting ACGME requirements. They did. But the disparities are there and persistent. So maybe it's time we stop saying the scalpel doesn't discriminate, because apparently it might. And finally, a corporate power move with surgical precision. Essilor Luxottica is acquiring Aptegra, the surgical eye care network of more than 70 clinics across Europe. The optical giant is clearly on a medtech shopping spree, adding operating rooms to its already bulging bag of diagnostics and devices. From laser vision correction to AMD treatment, Optega brings surgical swagger, AI smarts, and a serious European footprint. Bottom line, Essilor isn't just selling glasses anymore. They're building a vertically integrated eye care empire. I'm Diana Chung, and that's a wrap for this edition of SiteBite News. Stay sharp, stay focused, and stay in the loop with more eye-popping updates on Mice TV. Got a juicy story or a hot take? Drop us a comment below.